Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a Jada Big Time Muscle 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona in 124 scale. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. You can see the clear window on the front, top, and left side of the box. You get a nice view of the car. Um, you can see it looks like it's held down with these screws there, and then also you have the plastic wrapping around the hood and doors to keep everything closed, as well as the uh, plastic shell back there to keep the wing protected. On the back of the box, we can just see some of the other models in the Jada Big Time Muscle series. Just the Big Time Muscle badging on the side of the box there. On the bottom just has all the legal information for the different cars and uh, saying you're going to need a screwdriver to remove this from the box. Let's go ahead and get the car out of the box. I've been wanting to add a uh, Dodge Charger Daytona or Plymouth Superbird model to my collection uh, for some time now. So my brother actually got this one for me for my birthday. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look around it here. Um, see the beautiful nose cone on the front end there. There's be where the flip up headlights are. See just different performance brands with their stickers on the side there. Uh, you can tell it's definitely a racing machine. It's got the lowered suspension, um, the aftermarket wheels, 71 on the door. Uh, uh, lightning bolt on the big wing on the back there, the Daytona badging. You can see the Jada Toys Big Time Muscle license plate on the back there with the exhaust tips. The reverse lights right there with the tail lights. Nicely done car. They got the hood scoops on there. Looking at the hood, they even have, um, they do have the hood pins molded into the hood, so at least um, they are there. Definitely looks nice, adds to it. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Underneath the hood, we do have a nice big chrome engine there with the chrome air cleaner as well as the valve covers, um, the radiator hosing. Um, one thing is uh, not the best paint application up here on like the radiator support and all that stuff. Um, tip it kind of like that. Look at it back. You can see um, didn't quite get painted the best back there. Um, but it's under the hood, so it's not like you're seeing it um, all the time because, you know, how often you look under the hood of your model cars. Let's take a look inside the driver's side door. On the door, we can see there's a side view mirror. These doors open nicely. Uh, they do have the dog leg hinges, but they do open and close very nicely, nice and flush with the body panels. Inside of the car, um, everything is black. Uh, they do have little gauges in there. You can kind of see them. Uh, as well as you do have the gas, brake, clutch, parking brake pedal, and the uh, driver's side footwell there. As well as you can see the manual transmission shifter in the center console. Seats do not tilt forward, they are in a fixed position. Look into the back seat there. Again, it closes real nicely. No, uh, like some of my cars with the dog like hinges, you have it open, then you get it to like here and it snaps shut. Um, this one just closes, opens and closes real nice. The trunk actually is opening on this model, so it does open. Uh, there are no jacking instructions or <clears throat> anything like that for the spare tire. Um, see down into the trunk space there. Uh, nothing much in there, just you know, gives you nice trunk space for the car though. Um, the wing is nicely fixed, it's not loose, it is um, fixed in a spot, so no worries about that coming off or anything. 
look inside the passenger side of the vehicle here. Get a better look at the manual transmission shifter there. More of the dash, everything molded in black plastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the underside here. Um, there are the chrome exhaust pipes going there back to the exhaust tips. Um, interestingly enough, it does have the differential in the rear axle in chrome as well. Uh, and you have the exhaust, they're molded into just like the plastic basing of the underside here. Uh, you see where the two, the two screw holes there, where it mounts into, into the box. Um, no turning wheels on this one, just, uh, you know, forward and backwards, um, outside of that, but the front wheels do spin very well, um, the rear ones spin pretty well too. Um, yeah, outside of that, um, you know, pretty good underside for a Jada, uh, Jada car. Um, you know, it's got nice detailing of the exhaust and just the frame and drive shafts and stuff like that, so. You know, it's pretty pretty good for what we can ask for for a Jada. Um, see, we do have when you spin the wheels, the calipers and rotors do stay still. Um, but hey, there are even some more high-end models that have that issue. <laughs> the wheels spin, but the calipers the, well, the calipers should stay still, but the rotors um, stay still as well. Um, so yeah, let's just take uh, one last all-around look at the car here. Um, we'll just get a nice look at it, very smooth um, view from all around it without my hands being in the way or anything. Um, door is open. Is that? Uh, nice body lines on this car. I love the, uh, you know, of the Dodge Charger as they call it, the Coke bottle design. Uh, you know, you get the flowing body lines to it. Um, you do have like the reverse kind of like scoop things there on the rear on the uh, front fenders there overall beautiful car and uh look forward to uh maybe adding a plymouth superbird to my collection one day so we're gonna have both of the winged warriors per se you know we'll have the dodge charger and plymouth superbird uh you know they're just cool cars you know definitely something unique that was very interesting you know very unique piece of automotive history there produced by uh, you know, Chrysler because you know, these came from the factory built like this overall it's a cool car to have in my collection um, goes well at that other uh, big time muscle um, GTO judge uh, these two will look nice together on display and uh, hopefully maybe photograph them together um, for my Instagram page get some nice pictures for that um, definitely you know very happy with the Jada quality on this one um, you know, doors open nicely. They don't, you know, stick out or whatnot. They open, shut smoothly. Um, the hood closes properly. Trunk closes properly. You know, nothing, no weird problems with any of that. Um, you know, so it's well put together in Jada's part, which as knowing some of their, well, you know, they're not quite green light for some of their quality issues. But, uh, you know, overall, you know, very happy with it. Um, this has been my uh, review of the Jada Toys Big Time Muscle 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona in 124 scale. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks.